Hi guys, welcome back to The Fight Brand. It is your girl and your host and your founder, Shayla Fight. So today we're gonna go over five simple steps on how you grow your personal brand. Step number one is your brand identity. So basically, whoever you are with your mama, your friends, your boyfriend, your cousin, your sister, your kids, whomever you are, that is who you should be online, period. Simple? Okay. Two, step number two is your audience persona. So my best, the best way I can explain this is to tell a little story. So I used to work at BCBG many moons ago, and they did a very good job of identifying who their audience was. So I'll name two women <clears throat> that kind of explains how you identify your audience. They had a social media type woman and they had a very sophisticated type woman. They have more, but we're just gonna narrow it down to two. So when I think about a social media type woman, I think about Paris Hilton. When you think about Paris Hilton, she is the original influencer. So think about that. She goes to red carpet. She's getting VIP treatment. She, she uh, She's going to movie premieres. So imagine how she needs to dress. She needs uh, she needs dresses, she needs cute outfits for dinner, things that are always going to get photographed. Got that? And then on the other side, you have your very sophisticated woman. You have your Michelle Obama of the world. Michelle Obama ain't necessarily going out to eat like that. She's not necessarily going to do any movie premieres, but what she is doing, she's going to galas, she's going to other countries and talking with kings and queens and things of like that, and ambassadors, things of that nature. So you're going to dress those women two types of ways so when it comes to your audience if you <clears throat> play games meaning video games if you are into yoga meditation what you want to do is <clears throat> if those two things are something that you do let that be who you are but speak directly to those two two, two groups of people so that way they fit under one store and why i say that is because even though bcbg dressed those two type of women it was all under one house so you can mimic your brand to do that same thing. Okay. Step number three is your content. So by that, what is your tone of voice with your content? Are you going to be motivating them? Are you going to be very direct with them? Are you going to be very serious with them? Or are you just a hilarious person and your family knows you're a hilarious person, you're very funny you need to be able to translate that online. It should mirror It should mirror who you are. So however you choose to talk to them, that's the tone of voice that you want to set on your social media, okay? And step number four is your audience interest. So say you have an away game in Mississippi and you put on a story, hey guys, I got a game in Mississippi tomorrow. What's the best soul food restaurant to eat at? Boom. You have now created an interest for your audience because what they're going to do is, hey, I'm from Mississippi. You should go here. Or, no, you ain't been here. You ain't lived here in a long time. I'm going to say this. So what you're going to do is create that interest. That's you putting it out there and asking for an interest. But on the back end, if you want information, you can make a poll. You can put up a story. Just asking. It. You can literally say, hey, y'all, what do you like to do? That's that. Listen, it's really simple. Literally, ask your audience, What do you like to do? They're going to answer you and say some of the most outlandish things, but you're going to know. Uh, again, take a poll and just have people write in the comments, they're going to tell you so that way, okay, they like this. And then if you like that too, magnify that and put it on social media. Because what that gonna, what's that's going to do is, is you already know that your audience likes likes this, so you can do it. I'll share I'll share something really really cute that um, I think, in my personal opinion, is a great way to get more connected with your audience too. So, say you're a father or mother, and you have a daughter or son, and they want to play with a doll, and they always ask you to play with this doll. You're like, you know what? I play with this doll. I want to share this online, like take a picture of the doll. Like my child always likes to play with this doll. And then you get other fathers and other mothers and they're like, my child love that doll too. And then now you have an audience that's like, oh my gosh, they have that same doll and da 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 and da And it just grows and grows and grows. And now 
because you posted something that was very intimate for you and your family. Now you have an audience who is what? Interested in the same thing you with. Got it? Okay. Step number five. Last step. Be authentic. Baby, you will get tired of being somebody else online because growing your brand is a commitment. And if you out here faking, baby, you ain't gonna last. I can tell you right now, you're not going to last on social media if you're not being yourself because you're going to get tired. You're going to get tired of putting on that face, that mask every day. Actually, that clown suit. You're going, to you're going to get tired of putting on that clown suit every single day to tell your audience who you want to be, but you're not that person. So be authentic. Be yourself. Don't be anybody else. God made you for you. Don't You don't want to be nobody else. So just be yourself. So that is it for today, y'all. Oz is done. I will see y'all next week.